Okay, so this is the track where we quite often walk either. And I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but off in this field here, I can hear lots and lots of crickets and grasshoppers. Now, I'm going to come back here in a minute without Eva, because I need to run around a little bit. I'm going to catch some grasshoppers, and then we're going to cook them and eat them. Now, I can hear the grasshoppers down in this grass here. Let's actually see if we can rustle one up. The way I'm going to end up catching them, I think, is just going to be to walk through the grass and shake them up and then pursue them and catch them by hand, which won't be very easy. Now here's one right here. Let's see if we can get a good view of it without scaring it off. So those are the little critters that we're going to be looking to catch. I don't expect it to be very easy. And I expect to expend more calories catching them than I derive from eating them. But let's have a go anyway. Okay, so this is the extent of the equipment we'll be using today. I'm just going to use this plastic milk bottle to catch, well, I'm going to catch the grasshoppers by hand, drop them into this plastic milk bottle. The theory is they'll go in there relatively easy by hand, but they'll find it quite difficult to jump back out of that small hole. That's the theory. Let's go put it to practice. grasshoppers in our little pot here. You might be able to hear them jumping about. I think I've probably only caught about eight or nine. Uh, it's hard work and the sun is hot. I think we'll head for home and we'll see what we can do with these few grasshoppers. Just as a experiment really. Okay, so yeah, as I say, we only caught, I don't know, half a dozen grasshoppers today. So the next thing to do is, I can't put them straight in the frying pan like that, they'll jump straight out. So we're going to put the bottle in the freezer and that will kill them humanely. We'll leave that there for about an hour and then that'll kill them off, then we can cook them. Okay, so I think I left those grasshoppers in the fridge, in the freezer, a little longer than I intended to. And they have actually frozen solid. So that's our catch. And there's still one down there. Okay, so that's our catch. Quite a lot of effort went into catching these little critters. Um, and there's a very small amount of protein and energy there. But never mind, we're going to cook these now. I'm going to leave them a few moments to thaw out actually because I want them to cook thoroughly all the way through. You should probably, if you're catching grasshoppers, know that they are, there are some species of grasshoppers that can be the intermediate hosts for intestinal parasites. So they do need to be thoroughly cooked. So I'm going to let those thaw out so that they're not frozen in the middle when they're cooking on the outside. We've got several different species I think of grasshoppers. There's a that's definitely a grasshopper. I think some of these other green ones are actually crickets. But I imagine they'll all taste quite similar. Okay so it's time to fry these up. Let's just get a pan on the heat here. I'm just going to put this on a medium heat. And we will add in a little splash of vegetable oil. And we'll just wait for that pan to come up to temperature. Okay, and now because I want to cook these gently, I'm just going to put them in straight into the pan. So, in with the little grasshoppers. And 
and we'll just bring the heat up until they start to sizzle and we will actually see a transformation take place here actually these are all green and brown at the moment and I think we will see them turn kind of reddish coppery colour but I'm going to cook them gently as I say because I want them to be crispy all the way through I want them to be cooked all the way through here we go they're just starting to sizzle now see is that they just uh, kind of crisp up and they puff up a little bit, a bit like popcorn really. And that's probably all the cooking they need. So we'll just turn off the heat now and transfer them onto that kitchen paper there just to soak off the excess cooking oil. And there we go. Crispy fried grasshoppers, don't they look delicious? So I'm just going to let those cool a tiny bit, so I don't scald myself, and then let's give them a taste. So, crispy fried grasshoppers, there they are. Took me probably an hour to catch these. Well, let's see how many I caught. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Nine little grasshoppers. Took me probably about an hour to catch these little critters. And there's less than a couple of grams of protein here. So, uh, I guess we could call that exercise because I've got less food value coming back from these grasshoppers than I expended catching them. Obviously if I was doing this for a survival purposes I'd probably try to use some sort of net or I'd use some cleverer method of catching them but this is just an experiment anyway, see what they're like. So there we go, that is our crispy fried grasshoppers. I thought you'd probably want to see that I am actually eating these rather than just hear me crunching them. So here we go. And they taste, it might sound a bit strange, but they taste like grass. They taste like popcorn. Um, so yeah, crispy grasshoppers. There's nothing really to dislike about them. I mean, you might be put off by the idea of eating insects, by the fact that they're leggy and weird and, you know, that they're just unusual but to be honest this is like eating little bits of crispy popcorn or bits of crispy chicken skin it actually tastes quite good so I would say these are not only a good source of protein but they're actually and not just a survival food but these are actually a, a these are tasty we should eat more insects Let's try this one. This is one of the crickets here. That's the green cricket. Obviously not green anymore. Mm. Slightly different taste. Um, a little bit more, perhaps. Yeah, do you know what the taste... The, the, the best way I can describe the taste is it's a bit like crispy chicken skin. There's an ever so slightly meaty umame taste to these things and the rest of it is just buttery, crispy protein. So there we go, that is our crispy fried grasshoppers. I hope you've enjoyed watching me catch and cook and eat these crispy critters. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.